Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, Firebase invites are being deprecated. All right, so in last week's live stream on Friday night, I mentioned that Firebase invites have been deprecated. So as of January 24th, we have one year to remove them from our application. So if you're using Firebase invites, like I'm using them in one of my applications, I have until January 24th, 2020 to get rid of it. So have a look at my screen here. I got this email on, um, on Friday, I think it was, and it just says, you know, as of January 24th, uh, Firebase invites will be discontinued. I have it in one of my applications and I have to remove it. This is something to consider if you hire other developers and you don't have the development skills in order to change these kind of things. Every so often, platforms change, new tools come in, new tools go away, and you might have to just adjust things a little bit. Now, this is not very major, but I know a lot, I haven't really talked a lot about Firebase invites, mainly because I haven't got a lot of benefit out of them, but the principle is a really good one. So being able so what firebase invites did was just give you a small library that you could take and just put it in your application and encourage users of your app to share it with their friends so give them some sort of incentive to share it like for me it was part of my unlock uh, we would unlock a feature if you either watched a rewarded ad video or if you shared it on social media and then at one time we were trying to do the the Facebook invites and what it does is it's you just call a little function it would bring up your contacts and you could add your contacts to it and they would get an invite with a dynamic link for it so have a look at uh, my screen over here and this is really it just saying that it's been deprecated so if you wanted to find out what it was don't implement it in your apps now but they have added a migration guide so you can replace it with something else which is really very simple so uh, you could just replace your um, take a firebase a dynamic link. So what is a dynamic link? A dynamic link is a Firebase link which when you send it to people, if they're on iOS, it will open the App Store. If they're on Android, it will open the, the, the Play Store. So you have to send two different links to different people. That's what a dynamic link is. It gives you a little bit of instructions here on how to just create an intent filter, open it up, and just send it via the, um, the sharing dialog here. So it's something that, like I said, for me, in practice, in theory, it should have worked a lot better, but it didn't work a lot in practice. But you know, seeing this now, I'm starting thinking maybe we could do things a little bit better, sending out promo codes and things like that. But it is something, I mean, the biggest problem with getting your app downloaded is getting it discovered, getting it found by new people. And if you do get those few people to do it, whether you pay for advertising or you work on your ASO that they find it, the best thing would be for them to share it with the people that they know. So if you can find something that would be like, hey, share this with five friends and we'll unlock a feature or just share it with five friends because you think it's really cool. Dynamic links will help with that, but don't use Firebase invites because they're going to be deprecated. And it's just one of these things. It's the, the always changing landscape of app development. And if you, if you hire a developer for a one-time thing, you might want to keep their contact details because this kind of stuff comes up. And if you don't know how to do the code yourself, then it's something to look into. So anyway, the whole purpose of this video was to talk a little bit about dynamic links, uh, talk about Firebase invites and why you should implement dynamic links within your applications and get people to share them if you have not tried that yet. Like I said, for me, it didn't work that well, but for you, it might work a lot better. And, and if it has worked for you, this is my question today, if it has worked well for you, if you're using dynamic links within your application, how are you using it? And has it, has it helped you any? Did you, do you think, because what I'm, what I'm really want to hear is somebody saying, oh man, Eric, I tried dynamic links and it was the best thing ever. Here's how you do it. Because I would love to hear that. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.